Hello everybody. Luca Fineste sent me an email and he said he was trying to model the top or model uh, a Stabilo Boss felt marker and he said it just didn't look right and asked if I would help. And to be honest, I underestimated this a bit also because I tried at least three or four different approaches and also those did not look right. Either this part was not round or this part was not flat and slightly bent here or I had strong edges here and these edges were not accentuated, it just didn't look right. So uh, I thought I make this little tutorial to show how I finally did it and then let's start. I go to Modo, I am in the top view and select a circle with 16 edges bring it out in the middle and make it two millimeters in all dimensions, center it and a key so we see it, perspective. <clears throat> then I delete the top and the bottom and go to the side view, R key, bring this out in the Y to about 300%. Then drop the tool. I can now select one half here and delete. Uh, edge mode Alt C with a count of 5 and uniform. Then I bring out a linear fall off from here to here, then action center origin and R key on the green circle. So and make this 300 by 300 percent as well. But we need an ease out, not linear, like so. Then side view again, W key and bring this out about minus 6. By the way, the advantage of using a fall off instead of a bend is that the geometry stays where it is and with a bend it would go up. So that's just an... Now I can get rid of all this and go to duplicate mirror over the X apply select these edges here R key bring them down to zero and go to vertex merge and merge automatic for have merged good now I go to symmetry on the Z and select these polygons and these ones and delete them. Perspective. Now I can use this one and this one and bridge. Then select these, deselect these one and these two and bridge again. Put in a single edge here at 50% and now we need to merge these vertices here so select them and join averaged good now this is the basic shape but <clears throat> if i subdivide it you see these edges here are way too soft and we need them much more accentuated so i select them and then bevel them in 
with a round level of 1 and make them 0.2 millimeters. Yes, that sounds good. Good. Next, we need to uh, make these circles circles again. We could do it by putting up a circle with 24 edges here on top and bridge it or I could use Shift F5 and use Seneca Menar's perfect circle. Takes about the same time. Top view, we need to tweak this a bit. So E key, ah, the problem was symmetry. So symmetry off. This one like so. Then this one. E key like so good. Drop the tool perspective again and now <clears throat> the set key and bring this down a bit and next we must make sure that the hard edge we just created which looks very nice is not propagated through the rest of the model. So uh, I use symmetry on set, select this vertex and this one, R key and bring this to about here and then symmetry on the X, select this vertex here and action center element just to be sure w key and bring this to about the middle like so to the same here w key and to about the middle like so good <coughs> Now I go to top view, symmetry off, action center, modo default, set key, click in the viewport to activate the tool, R key and bring it out on the green circle like about so and a bit more here, perspective set key again and bring this down to maybe here shift click and to about here till we are happy with the proportions R key on the green circle and make it smaller like so Good. Next, uh, we need some more edges in here. There is one old C, but with a count of two and symmetry. Alt three to convert selection to polygons. B for bevel. Bevel this down a bit, like so. And then I select two edges here, up arrow key, Alt C, and make this about so. Drop the tool. Now I need another edge in here, and Shift click another one in here. Then I can select this one. And the top one, hit the B key, but with a round level of 2, and yeah, why not? No, point 0.1. Now I select the middle edges here and here, R key 
again on the green circle and bring this in so it seems as these parts would be separate. Good. Next I can go to here, L key, up arrow key, one more. M key, give it the material, call it bottom, height, select the rest, material, call it top, on height. <clears throat> now, how does this look? Mm, not so bad. Now, let's make the felt tip. So, P, key 3 for polygon mode, B for bevel, bevel this in, about so, shift click, down, shift click, down a bit, and delete. Now I need an other bevel in here, but with a round level of 0. about so and then I can select these Alt C good and put another edge in here like so yes that looks good okay let's make the tip so I select mm. did I not put an edge in here it does not look like Let's do it now. Okay, select these polygons, L key, Control X, Control V to make it separate from the rest, W key, and bring it up to, to here. Now I can go to the side view and select one half and delete it and flip. Oops, but only this part here, flip, good. Next, shift C and I cut through here and I make it with the snapping option of 45 degree angle and about in the middle through this here. Then delete this, select these two edges and uh, bridge them together. Now we can select all this stuff, deselect this one and these two and bridge these together. Then put in another edge here at exactly 50% and now I can delete this half here and we have an end gone here. I could just put in an edge from here to here but this would leave me with a spider, I mean with a, a vertex which is being shared by more than four edges and I don't like to have this on an edge. It's okay if it is inside somewhere so let's make this inside so it is not uh, looking weird so i put an edge in here like so then c key sorry we start here and one in here and here shift click and shift click again like so. Next I want to, and you see now we, the spider is not on the edge, it is inside and will not hurt. Next I put an edge in here to make this one a bit hold its shape, that is good, like so, and another one to here uh, but not like this, so I hide this polygon, then put an 
etch in here, unhide the polygon, and now I can redirect this to uh, here. So C key again, make one in here, shift click and bring it to here and we have all quotes. Now I want to take these two edges, action center, selection, W key, and move them up a bit so we get the nicer quote down here when we have merged. So top view, uh, I hide the main thing and then I select all these edges, go to vertex, set position, zero on the set, select these ones, vertex, set position, zero on the X. Now we can duplicate mirror over the set, apply over the X, apply, check if everything has merged, yes. Now I can put in these polygons, P key, and go to polygon mode and paint select all these polygons and bevel them in like so. Drop the tool perspective. Yes, that looks not so bad. Now we need uh, the last time a fall off linear again from here to here, but I make it a real linear fall off. W key and pull this down to about here. Good. Unhide everything, get rid of the fall off. Let's see what we have. That's the wrong way around. Top view, E key and rotate this by 90 degrees. Now we can give this <coughs> Uh, material also. So M, call it felt, W key, bring it down to about here, and we can subdivide everything and go to the render tab, A key, to bring it into vision, what do we have here? This is low gloss, yes, good. Then we use this for the felt and go out here, satin finish, use this for the bottom and this one for the top. Uh, go to the layout and select a nice environment like this one go back to render, make it a bit bigger, 888, I use 888 because it's easier to type the same number three times. Now you can zoom in here a bit, hit F9 and render this out and here we are. This looks pretty much like the real thing and all the details which were not looking right when I did it the first three times are now so as I wanted to have them. So thanks very much for watching, take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.